the erring one. How can it be a man set free can end up in apostasy when once he's known the precious price of God's endearing sacrifice? How can a child who's raised in love, who's taught to look to God above, be tossed and torn by Satan's scorn and lose the sight for which they're born? Tis nothing but a mystery how love becomes iniquity when focused on the wants of man instead of God's creation plan. When those who have been so adored and purchased by our loving Lord would rather choose to live in sin with him who seeks to rule all men through vice and his corrupting ways, so quick to grab the ones who stray from following the path that God has laid upon this earthly sod. For when we leave the safety of God's word and precious law of love, we place ourselves on Satan's ground, where vanity and death are found. And all distractions come to be demanding with intensity the time we once spent in God's word, while in our prayers his voice was heard. And then with great tenacity the devil holds captivity by punishing the burdened soul with fear of truths that will be told. Should they decide to run from him and seek the will of God for them, but knowing what the future holds for those who think to be so bold. But if we stop, to reminisce how God has been prepared for this through all the works that he has done and most of all through Christ his Son, then we can very clearly see the love of God that sets us free, that's never failed to make a way for those who love the price he paid, and realize there is no need to be the one to die and bleed, for Christ has done that way before when he prepared the open door. And as we choose to turn to him, no matter what may come from them who once held sway upon our souls to make us meet the devil's goals, then we will know God's mighty grace and someday touch his loving face that only always sought through love to save us to his home above. For reference, James 4, verses 1 through 10.